the statewide mass indoor mask requirement will end on March 25th at 11.59 p.m. Governor David Ige making this big announcement today, citing low COVID case counts and hospitalizations. Hawaii was the last state to announce plans to drop its indoor mask mandate. Children in Hawaii public schools will not be required to wear masks outdoors after March 25th, but the indoor mask mandate for students K through 12 will remain in effect. KITV 4's Jeremy Lee joins us now live with the details behind that decision. Jeremy. Mika and Rick, Hawaii now stands alone with a requirement for school children to wear masks indoors. I had a chance to have an in-depth conversation with a school teacher today here on Oahu who is asking that teachers be given an opportunity to be heard by administrators from the DOE as to how masking is impacting day-to-day -day education. All this as the DOE has relented on outdoor masking for kids but remains unchanged on indoor masking. Matt is a second grade instructor teaching for 22 years and his COVID restrictions are being rolled back. He's advocating for more discussion and tolerance. And if mask is your personal choice, then I really think that should be it. And my job as a teacher will be make sure to protect everybody. If your child wants to wear a mask, I think I need to make sure that children and everybody else understands knows that's his right. Matt says he understands the choice of those in multi-generational living situations and stands by the Department of Health guidance on schools, which has read, schools should be supportive of students and staff who choose to wear a mask outdoors. Matt is also of the opinion. If your child doesn't want to wear a mask, I think it's equally as important that we have that balance. And I don't think anybody should get bullied in either way or told what to do. With the news of upcoming changes, Matt says more conversation is needed, especially if Hawaii will remain the only state in the nation requiring school children to mask up. California, Oregon, and Washington State announced they will end K-12 through masking on March 12th. Vermont, March 14th. Matt says there may be huge challenges ahead for Hawaii. When the masks come off, the children are going to have to make adjustments in their peer groups and in the classroom setting, especially when getting up in front of people because now the mask is off and I think it's been natural and they've adapted to having a false sense of security. So he's advocating for the DOE to hear more from educators and suggests. I have an assistant in my classroom and that really helps out with the, the child's socio-emotional needs where I can tend to getting the academics up to speed where they are critically behind in academics. The DOE needs to put more effort and money if they can. Into both, he says, and adds he hopes it will soon be a matter of choice. Children learn best when they have a choice in their own reading, and we know that people react best if they are given choice. And our job as teachers has always been to, to open those choices up for everybody and recognize and protect everybody. The recurring questions that I have posed to both DOE and DOH since the middle of last week. What studies are used or data is evaluated to back up the continued mandate of masks in schools. Also, how often or how soon will the Department of Education reevaluate their continued restriction? So far, I haven't received a response to either question. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News, tonight.